Now let's examine the different Oracle special storage structures. I'm going to briefly describe different types of indexes, namely B-tree indexes, bitmaps, a special type of index which is a table at the same time, an index organized table, quite often called an IOT. I'm also going to look at Oracle partitions and the local and global indexes that can be created with those partitions. I want to look at clusters, materialized views and partitions. The way in which tables are broken up into separate physical parts using an add-on Oracle package called Oracle Partitioning. So, a B-tree index. What is a B-tree index? Generally, an Oracle B-tree index has a maximum number of three reads in order to read a single row if you're trying to find an exact hit. So in an extremely large table with millions of rows, to find a single row, it is very much more efficient to read three blocks in an index and a single block in a table using a row ID connection between the index and the table, as opposed to reading either both the entire index and the entire table or just the entire table in a full scan. Essentially, Oracle B-tree indexes have a maximum of two branch levels and leaf blocks. So you can imagine that the breadth of an Oracle B-tree index can get fairly wide on an extremely large table. The point to note is that it does effectively what's called a depth first search as opposed to a breadth first search. So therefore, the fewer the number of depth levels in the tree, the faster you will be able to search through that tree to find what you're looking for. If it did a breadth first search, obviously going across a multitude of branches would take a long time to search. A depth first search essentially goes down the tree and then up to the next branch and up and down. Basically all the way down to the bottom and then all the way back up to the top. And gradually passing through the different levels. A breadth first search will go from the top and search all the second level, and then all the third level, all the fourth level, etc, etc, to find what it's looking for. As you can see here, I have an example where I've got all values before CA are actually in the left-hand branch of this tree, and all values at CA and after CA are in the right-hand branch of this particular value in the root node. The same applies to other branches and other sub-levels, which I haven't described in detail. What it means is, for instance, the name Carl, C-A-R-L, will actually be linked from the root level down to this level in this block which will point to a block accessed by this particular branch block referenced by CA. So let's go back to the left hand block. What I've done is I've got CA and then any name before CA actually occurs in this branch. If it's a name beginning with A then it'll go from CA down to A and then link through to the leaf block. The leaf block contains the actual index values, the columns that are indexed, plus the row ID. The row ID points directly to the row in the table physically residing on the disk or in the buffer, depending on where the row is going to be found. That's a B-tree index. It's actually very simple. We can also use function-based indexes and various other specialized types of indexes, which we'll look at briefly later on. A function-based index simply stores the resulting value of the calculation of a function. In other words, if you were to say, create an index on the uppercase value using the upper function, the value stored in the index would actually be all uppercase values of that particular string. 